Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about music, productivity and health. In today's video, I want to talk about a question that I get a lot from you guys. And the question is, am I too old to become a professional musician? It's not so easy to answer this question. So um, I decided that I will talk about different aspects of age in the professional music industry. First of all, I'm going to talk about conservatoires. Then I'm going to talk about academies and competition. And then last of all, about my personal experience, what I think about age in a musician's life. There are some conservatoires that have age restrictions, for example, the Musikhochschule in Leipzig, where the age restriction for a bachelor is 25 and for a master is 30. Um, and sometimes they have different age restrictions for different study majors. So instruments are normally much um, younger and um, people that want to study voice or um, composition, there is the age restriction much later. But there are also conservatoires like um, Hans Eisler in Berlin and that don't have any age restrictions at all. So what does this mean when you do your entrance exam? You will be compared with all the other people that are applying for a study place, which are younger than you, when you are older, of course. And the professors do look at your age and they do consider the fact how much can you still develop. Um, but they also consider the fact how motivated you are. I think 80% of cases that I heard they took the younger students just because they thought that they will develop more than the older student. But that has not to be the case in every entrance exam. It's just that I wanted to know you that they will look at your age for sure. During your studies, you can apply for um, internships, for academies and for competitions, of course. And they normally do have an age restriction. For um, orchestra academies, it's different, but normally it's 26 or 27. And um, for competition, it's normally 33. So when you start your studies only with like 25 or 26, you have to be very, very good um, already to get in an orchestra academy because the age restriction is there. The other question I always got was that Oh, Vanessa, I started my instrument only when I was 15 or when I was 14 or even when I was 17 and I really want to study music at a conservatoire. Do I have a chance? And before I studied at a conservatoire, I would have said no, just because I did not know anyone who did it. But when I studied at the conservatoires, I met people who started their instrument only when they were 14 or 15 and they still got accepted at a conservatoire and I asked them how it was for them and they said yeah they had to spend a lot of time um, at their instrument but they worked really hard and it was possible for them so I think it is possible but I think you also struggle a lot more than people that started their instrument very early. I know personally I think four or five cases of people who started the instrument very late and um, they got accepted at a conservatoire, but they had a lot more to work on um, during their studies. Um, for example, um, when you start harp very late, um, I can only explain it with harp, it's very hard to get regular fingers. And I know a lot of people that um, saw when they were studying that there were so many people that played better than them and they were struggling to get an orchestra position or to get so many concerts to play. Um, and they thought that they it's better for them that they start another um, studies than um, investing so much time in practicing um, as it will be very hard for them to be in the competition with all these people that started very early their instrument. But if you are very passionate about it and you really want to do it, I think nothing is impossible and you can do it. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet that you don't miss any further videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye!